Yeah. <coughs> so, when you were with Camilla, like during uh, your research, as a, a female, did you like what were the feelings that you uh, that went through your head, like seeing this uh, growth of her, like standing up for girls in Afghanistan? And did you think like like during your trip? about the impact it's like making when you're writing this book because you know you know I didn't think too much about the impact I was you know she was impressive I mean she was impressive from the first time I met her and she was she would be impressive wherever she was in the world and I actually think she'd be an entrepreneur wherever she was in the world um, she's just one of those people that you meet that is so focused so determined and so serious about what she was doing and she wasn't doing, you know, she's not a political person. She's the first person to say, you know, that's why if you, when you read the book, see all of the things they did to try to stay within the Taliban's rules. Um, they really wanted to do whatever they could to help as many people as they could. And, and her father always said, you do as much as you can for as many as you can for as long as you can. And so I think that example was one that inspired me. And I hoped that people would understand that. And... You know, we had a lot of debates with marketing people. Said, oh, you know, Afghanistan's been done, women have been done, and everybody's going to care about this book. And we said, no, look, like, this is not about any of those things. This is about what each of us is capable of when put to the test. And that, I think, was what I learned from her constantly.